All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving another question in today's video, and we have the square root of x plus the square root of x minus 12 is equal to 6, and we need to figure out the value of the x. So obviously we have the square root, and in order to get rid of the square root, one easy way in here is just to do the squares on each side of the equation. And the algebra formula that we have is a plus b squared, which we know is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And, and when we have a negative sign in here, this will be negative, but... That's not the case in here we have a plus sign in here so uh we're going to do the square on each side and from the first one we have the square root of x to the power of 2 plus 2 times the square root of x times the square root of x minus 12 plus x minus 12 to the power of 2 is equal to 6 times 6 which is 36 so here we have x plus 2 times the square root of when we have the square root of a times square root of b. This will be same as the square root of a, b. And here we'll have x times x minus 12 plus x minus 12 is equal to 36. And if you want to simplify this, we'll have 2x. So we have 1x here, 1 here, plus 2 square root of we can multiply these two to get rid of the parentheses so we have x squared minus 12x minus 12 is equal to 36 we're gonna add 12 on each side so plus 12 so 2x plus 2 times x squared minus 12x is equal to 36 plus 12 that's gonna give us 48 so now it doesn't seem that much simpler since we have still the square root on one side of the equation so obviously if we do the squares on each side here we have to deal with another square root here so uh that's not the way to go and what we're gonna do in here is that we're gonna bring the 2x on the other side of the equation so we'll do minus 2x on each side and here on the left side we'll end up with 2 square root of x squared minus 12x and on the other side we'll have 48 minus 2x and we can divide each side by 2 so we'll have x squared minus 12x is equal to 48 divided by 2 which is 24 and 2x divided by 2 will be x and now we can do the squares on each side that way we can get rid of this square on the left side of the equation so what we're going to have on the left side is basically x squared minus 12x and on the right side we have again this time we have a negative sign here so if we get back here this time we have the negative sign so a squared which is 24 squared minus 2 times 24 times x plus x squared so we have x squared on each side that can be cancelled out and on the right side basically we have minus 48x which can be added to the other side of the equation so we're gonna add 48x on each side so we'll end up with 40x minus 12x is equal to so on the right side uh, we have 24 times 24 so left side 48x minus 12x is going to give us 36x is equal to 24 times 24 and we know for 36 we have 6 times 6x 24 we have 6 times 4 and we have another 6 times 4 so we can cancel out the 6 on each side and from here we can find our x 16 which is the final answer for this question so some of you guys might ask that uh, we could have guessed the answer by just uh, substituting some numbers in the equation at, at the first place yeah that's gonna work it's actually not that hard to come up with that 16 but again we don't know that's the only answer that we're gonna get and 
Uh, the whole point of this video was to show the process of doing the algebra to get to that answer. Hope you guys find this one helpful. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like and comment, and let me know if you have any question uh, regarding this one or any other solutions that we can get the answer for this one. You guys take care and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.